Hi, Heidel. I can't hear you. How are you tonight? ¿Cómo le fue con el examen, Jairo? No sé qué. Ay, la primera pregunta, no sé por qué siempre me la tiré de error. De la... Creo que... Permítame, ya le digo. Es de la... Ya le digo. Me voy a ir acá. Solo nosotros estamos. Sí, es que esta gente creo que esta gente, <ríe> o sea, creo que se confundieron por el mensaje que enviaron, porque en realidad las clases no han terminado. No, la verdad que no. Estudiar todo. Yo... Uh -huh. ¿Usted hasta qué sección llegó? Hasta la cuatro. Sí, ahorita ya va a estar a cuatro. Bueno, dígame dónde tiene preguntas así. Le ayudo un poco mientras se une alguien más. Ay, permítame. Que no me carga, tengo un email. Va, no sé. Vocal is good for you. Section 5, section 4. Ah, aquí está el midterm. Ya, estoy, aquí está Yesenia ya. Hi, Yesenia. Yesenia, how are you tonight? <laughs> Yo no escuchar, I can't hear. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, great. And you? I am very happy. Oh, <laughs> very happy. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Ervin, how are you doing tonight? Ervin, Jamilet, ¿cómo les fue en el examen? Todo salió bien. Yo vi que algunos estaban mandando eh, preguntas, pero los compañeros les ayudaban, así que bueno. Y además que tengo días de locos. Yo en la página C del examen, la primera pregunta siempre me la tira de error. Y no sé por qué. Pero lo pasó arriba de 80. Sí. Sí, si sí, hay... Sí, porque... Ajá. Si hay una o dos preguntas que les toma mal, no, no pasa nada, porque al final, <coughs> siempre y cuando estén arriba de 80%, está todo bien. Sí, porque hice 17 puntos. Ah. Calificable, 11.3. Bueno, igual mande sus preguntas siempre para ver cómo lo resolvieron los, el resto de los compañeros. Y... Si no, en fin, cuando la cuando todos tienen el mismo problema, lo que hacen es, la persona que está encargada de la plataforma manda las respuestas y todos están teniendo su problema. Así ah, que, okay. bueno. Uh -huh. Pero terminaron, ¿verdad? Sí, yo lo terminé, solo esa pregunta era la que Perfecto. no salía siempre en rojo. Independientemente, ¿verdad? Si le ponía en mayúscula, minúscula. Me cambiaba todos los puntos, los signos que tenía, pero... Le quedó mal. Siempre bueno. me quedó mal. Sí, mándalo otra vez o pregúntele directamente a Marvin porque eh, ellos a veces tienen la respuesta. O usted también puede revisar a, en la esquina inferior derecha y ahí dice mostrar respuesta. No sé si para el, para el inicio de lo deja. No, no me lo deja. No lo no deja. Sí, en ese caso, si todos están teniendo su problema y si no le ayudan sus compañeros, hay que preguntarle a Marvin directamente. Okay. A mí no me dio, bueno, sí me dio error al inicio. 
Sin embargo, el, el error que me estaba ocasionando era por, por primero porque la D de there, o sea, al inicio de la oración, estaba en mayúscula, la cambié a minúscula. Siempre me daba error y luego eh, revisé el apóstrofe, porque el apóstrofe que yo estaba utilizando no era el correcto. Ah, Cuando sí. ya hice eso, me dio, ya no me dio error. Sí, eso tiene razón, es común lo de mayúsculas y lo del apóstrofe. A mí no me reconoce mi apóstrofe, por ejemplo. Así que hay que usar otro o buscar uno en, en Google igual. Okay. But you have to start. Cualquier pregunta, si no le ayudan sus compañeros, si no lo han resuelto o si no pasan arriba de 80%, de 80 por esa pregunta, díganle a Marvin. Okay? Y yo igual voy a intentar estar pendiente porque si sí, a veces tengo jornadas desde las 7 de la mañana hasta el día siguiente a la 1 de la mañana. Así que he puesto un poquito, pero voy a intentar. Okay. Let's do the exercise, all right? Did we finish this? No terminamos este, ¿verdad? Mm. I'm not sure. And then do we have? No. No terminamos. All right. Number one. Ingrid, go ahead. Uh -huh. Ingrid, can you see number one? Can you do number one, please? Some make some. Ok, acuérdense que N um. lo vamos a usar para negativo y para pregunta. Ok. So, okay. read the complete sentence. You're going to say, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Ok. Next, eh, Yamilet. <coughs> Yami, all right. Pendientes. Ervin, go ahead. Veamos. La número cuál, perdón. The número second. uno. Okay, do we have... Amanda sería any. Sería Amanda, do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Perfect. Yesenia. Acuerdo. Ajá. Any para preguntas y negativo. Y son uh -huh. en respuesta. Ok. So we need, no. We need to buy. Any. No, no, no. We need to buy some. Porque no, eso some. Es una coma no, es otro, no. otro tema. ¿Ok? We need to buy some. ¿Ok? Este no es negativo. Porque no dice we don't need. Dice we need. ¿Ok? Yes. Exactly. Very good. All right. Next. Vladimir. This is section 4.4, by the way. Uh, <coughs> We need, we need, uh, we need some on two. Yes, very good. Next, Jairo. Okay. Seria. <laughs> Ahead, okay, sería oh no what any onus I add the onus. Okay, oh I don't want any onus. Very good, great job. Okay. <laughs> Ingrid no puede con eso. <laughs> Ervin, go ahead. <laughs> sería um, Amanda de and let's get. Let's get some celery. Yes, some. what is the meaning of celery, guys? What's celery? Cel what is celery? Veamos. No idea. Look at this. This is celery. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. 
Next, Ervin. Oh, no. I think Ervin just did it. Okay. Again, again. Veamos. No. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Perfect. That's better pronunciation. Ya suenan mejor todos. Mucho mejor. Okay, Wendy. <laughs> but let's put some apples in it. Ah, let's put some apples in it. Perfect. Good job. All right. Now let's with the grades, all the correct answers. Uh, Wendy, can you read the correctly, please? By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast food in different country. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural difference in food. Very good. The only pronunciation mistake was learn. 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 Yes, learn is the opposite of teach okay yeah. i teach you learn all right very good let's watch the everybody mute the microphone mute the microphone let's listen hey everyone in this class you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the US, Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The US Eggs Bacon Toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly, Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, Tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation, which let's get started by learning what people in the U. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Okay, let's read the U.S. The U.S. The U.S. Eggs. 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 Bacon. Bacon. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. butter. Look, this is toast, this is butter. Okay. Toast orange juice. With orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Coffee. 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 Okay, guys, try to make the sound. Intenting as coffee. 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 Yeah. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. Jam. Coffee. Jam. Jam. No, Jam. Tiene que vibrar todo eso acá. Jam. 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 Jelly. Jelly. Okay. Japan. Jelly. Japan. Japan. Jam. Jam. Jam and jelly is, is mm, yeah, you cannot see it here. I will show you a picture. Como gelatina. No, if, no, I will show you a picture. Jam and jelly. Look, jam. Mermelada. Jelly. Mermelada. 
No, no, no lo traduzcan, solo. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Okay, questions about the vocabulary? Pickles. Pickles. Ah, pickles. Let me show you a picture as well. Look at this. Are pickles. No. All right, pickles. Okay. Yep, these are pickles. Pickles. Right. Very good. Anything else? This is sweet bread. Okay. Very good. So what do you have for breakfast, guys? Uh -huh. What do you have for breakfast, guys? Um, uh, coffee. Coffee, what else? Mm -hmm. Eggs. Wendy. Coffee. <laughs> Toast with butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Ingrid, Ervin, what do you have for breakfast? Some coffee and sweet bread. Coffee and sweet bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very common. What about pupusas, guys? For breakfast? <laughs> no? Tamales. Or tamales, yeah. <laughs> That's good. All right, very good. Let's continue then. Um, now we're going to practice the conversation, all right? Okay. Listen to the dialogue. Everybody mute the microphone. Here we go. The microphone. Listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We use... Okay. Come to my house. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? 
That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now is your turn to practice. Next. What? Okay, let's practice the dialogue. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Questions? Any new words here? No? Together or look together? Uh, together. Hold on. Together. Uh, together is okay. Together, separated. Together, separated. Is that clear? No? Together is juntos. Juntos. Mm -hmm. More okay. words? No? Okay, I guess you're ready to practice then. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's breakfast on Sunday. Everybody repeat. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's, Let's have, have breakfast, breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. Okay, okay. come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. My family has a Japanese breakfast on Sunday. Okay, this is Japanese style. Japanese, Japanese style. style. Okay. Really? What do you have? Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Fish, fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. Sometimes, Sometimes. Sometimes. salad too. And we always have green tea. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. New things. Very good. Okay, guys, would you like to have fish for breakfast? Do you like the idea? Do you like the idea? Like the idea? Fish for breakfast? No. 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 You. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Alguien tiene ahí unos gordos no. y pa, 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 en la casa, no sé qué pasa. <laughs> Póngale mute, por favor, esa persona. Because it's noisy. All right. Let's practice. Practice in pairs and then practice, modify, right? Uh, lo vamos a hacer al estilo salvadoreño, ¿ok? Primero practican tal cual está y segundo cambian las cosas por cosas salvadoreñas. Okay? Ready to practice? Are you ready? Okay, ready. Right, let's practice. Accept the invitation, please.
yo, yo me confundí, hice, hice otro volado por ahí y cuando revisé la plataforma me pareció que, que no lo había hecho. Ah, de veras. Ajá, Pero, ¿y, o sea, ¿y dónde puede ver uno la, la calificación? Tiene que meterse en, en, en un, donde dice el progreso. Ah, ay, ay, este. Revisaba. Ok, ya. Ok. Bueno, pues tenemos más que repetirla así y después cambiarla. Sí, sí, por ejemplo, vea si comienza usted entonces, Chami. Bye. Really? How? Bueno, usuario had fish, rice and soap. Fish breakfast? That's interesting. Fish, rice, and salt. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Oye, está Wendy, sí. Quiere hágalo con Erwin. Okay. No. Wendy. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, I come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on. Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Jorge Palacios. Hello. Let's have dinner together on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, sería so come to okay. my house. My family. My family. Always. Always. Ah, Salvadorian, Salvadorian food. Uh -huh. Salvadorian side. Dinner. 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 Really? What do you have? We usually yeah. have pupusa. Pupusa. Semi. And chocolate. Oh, sí. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Pupusa. Chocolate. Pupusa <laughs> for dinner? That's interesting. <laughs> Sometimes we have um, beans, beans too, and we always have. Okay. No me entiendo. Have. Have. De verde también siempre. Ah, ah we. And ah, pues sería. And we always have coffee. Coffee, mm -hmm. café. Coffee, mm -hmm. en lugar de green tea. Green tea. Green tea. tea. We never eat pupusas for dinner. But I like to try her. Así haga uno, entonces. Vaya. Practiquemos, Erwin. Y después con Wendy. Vamos a ver. Sugar and Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style, style breakfast on Sundays. Pupusa, semita, and coffee, and chocolate. Chocolate. Um, uh, pupusa for din din dinner? Mm -hmm. In Paris. Sometimes we have uh, beans too, and we always have coffee. Well, I never pupus, como, eh, pupus, 
for dinner mm -hmm. sería ahí, ¿verdad? No. I never sí, eat ajá. or have. But no. I like to train. Yes. No. Mm. Okay, did you guys finish? Yes. yes. Finished? All right. Any volunteers? We. Who? With Gwerby. Okay. Ervin. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, like camera okay. and action. Let's have dinner together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Salvadorian study. Stay dinner on Sunday. Really? What do you have? Well, usually have pupusas and chocolate. This is the semita. <laughs> and coffee. Okay, pupusa yeah. for dinner? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a um, bit, bit. Sorry? Beans. To beans. Beans. A bean. beans. 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 To, and we always have coffee. Well, I never eat pupusa for dinner, but I like to try new things. Okay. That is such a lie, but yeah. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine Jamilet is a <laughs> So, that was very good. We're going to learn address of frequency right now, okay? Uh, Jamilet, can you read the objective, please? Let me get there, hold on. Okay. Okay, sorry. There it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, BTN by the end of the class, you will by learn how to. By the end, sorry. By the end. By the end of the class, you will learn how to use adverbs and frequency when talk, talking about food. Very good. Let's watch the video. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. 
Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%, usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, Hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat and the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast with the adverb of frequency sometimes you may put that at the beginning just like you see on the example sometimes I eat breakfast you may also say I sometimes eat breakfast just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject, you. 
Then we will add ever. Next we will add the uh, above half. Uh, finally we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question. Cuente, quiero ir. All right, let's finish watching. ¿A dónde se quedaron? Perdón. Eh, cuando iba a explicar la pregunta, creo. Se fue la luz. Ajá, de do y das. Por acá, quizá. Fíjense. Show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast with the adverb of frequency sometimes. You may put that at the beginning, just like you see. Más adelante. Sending how to form questions. You may follow this formula. Auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject do. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the uh, verb half. Uh, finally, we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do. Sometimes. I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I uh, I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, we're going to practice some questions. All right, um, maybe we will finish that part tomorrow. But let me give you the structure. Okay, the first one, first one says, we're gonna start with this question, all right? How often do you? Todas las preguntas van a empezar mañana que las practiquemos porque ahora quizá no, depende. How often do you? Y luego el verbo para las preguntas, okay? Y, eh, Recibieron la imagen todos. Revisen WhatsApp para que empecemos a, a revisar cómo vamos a hacer las preguntas. ¿Cuál es la primera pregunta según la imagen de WhatsApp? Está fallando el sonido. Sí. Me voy a cambiar de conexión. Denme un segundo. Un segundo. Gracias. Se oye como que Robocop. 
Como se fue la luz, se fue el Ok. Bueno, ¿cómo quedaría la primera pregunta según la imagen que les envié? Sería, revisen la imagen en WhatsApp. How often do you wash? Wash your hands. Creo que esa es la primera imagen, ¿verdad? Yes. Wash you your hands before eating. Ok, ¿cómo sería la segunda pregunta? Why how? Um, how often do you eat fruit? Fruit. Eat fruits. Fruits. Eat fruits. Eat fruits. Fruit. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuál, How often do you eat ¿Cuál sería la estructura de la respuesta? No. I always eat fruit. Ajá, vamos a empezar con I y luego la frecuencia va a ir antes del de verbo, ¿ok? Y el, el verbo acá. Y, y el complemento, ¿ok? Le voy a preguntar, por ejemplo, eh, Jorge, how often do you eat fruits? Uh, I never eat fruits. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Why not? Y tienen las opciones arriba, ¿verdad? Tienen, fíjense, de esas pueden escoger. Ok, I never eat fruits. Ok, next, how often do you wash your hands, eh, Yamilet? Before eating, uh -huh. How often do you, never. <laughs> never. <gasps> oh, no. Choco. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice choco en inglés? <laughs> like dirty. No, that would be more like unhealthy. Ok, Yatania, how often do you wash your hands? <laughs> I, mm, 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 I usually antes de comer. I usually uh how que no siempre, no siempre. Usualmente. <laughs> no, no, hay que hay que ser realistas a veces no. uno está en la calle y pues no se puede lavar las manos. Con los sí, es cierto. Alcohol ah, gel. Ajá, exactly. I usually, I usually uh, wash, because this is a verb, right? Wash my hands. With, with alcohol. No, wash is water and soap. All right. Very good. Another question, guys. What's the, the next question? Um, how often do how you... you often How how often did you exercise? Mm -hmm. So how often do you exercise? What is a possible answer, Ingrid? Um, I, I never. Sometimes. <laughs> I, I sometimes eat fast food. Fast food. I sometimes exercise. Very good. Bueno, la única excepción es cuando está el verb be, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, esta no está en las preguntas, pero quiero que quede claro, ¿ok? How often are you late for work? ¿Ok? ¿Con qué frecuencia están tarde para el trabajo? O sea, van tarde y llegan tarde. Este es el verb be. Solo en este caso, lo vamos a poner acá como una excepción. El... el, el Adverbio de frecuencia va a ir antes del verbo. Ok, aquí vamos a escribir la excepción. Entonces sería, I am eh, hardly ever 
hardly ever late for work. Si se fijan, esta está después del verbo, ¿sí o no? Y en todas las demás está antes del verbo. Así que por favor anoten esa excepción. La excepción sería que con el verb be se escribe después, ¿ok? La, el adverbio. Any questions? No. Practicamos mañana entonces, ¿ok? Preguntas. Teacher. Uh -huh. um, no sé si es el momento, pero entonces para hacer la prueba final es hasta el viernes 8. Sí, aunque idealmente que lo hicieran antes del domingo, siempre. Ah, todavía se puede. No, lo que sucede es que la prueba, es que la prueba final no la tendrían que estar haciendo todavía, porque no hemos terminado, sino que el examen de mitad de periodo. Ese la fecha era para el domingo, pero si en caso tuvieron problemas o no la han terminado, siempre pueden hacerla después. Ah, okay. de no, no, okay. no pasa nada. Todavía tienen tiempo, pero no es lo ideal que acumule todo hasta el final y que estemos retrasados, porque a veces eh, ingresan a revisar su plataforma y todo y hay que llevar el, pro, el progreso necesario. No puede estar en blanco todo. Ok. Sobre todo si okay. están en clase y, y lo demás. Pero sí, tienen hasta el, para terminar. Igual nosotros terminamos el jueves. E idealmente para el domingo de la otra semana ustedes tendrían que haber completado la plataforma para ya poder descargar su certificado. Ok. Ah, de paso, yo con eso ya se pueden inscribir. Bueno, de hecho ya se pueden inscribir al próximo, si no me equivoco. Okay. ¿Preguntas? El último día de clase no, también voy a intentar resolver preguntas y vamos a hacer el examen juntos por cualquier cosa, pero pueden ir probando desde ya. Ok. Y todo el día da clases. Sí, doy clases desde las ocho y media de la mañana. Ahora, ¿por qué este, por qué este reloj tiene hora del Salvador también? Sí, pero sí, ya les he contado, ¿verdad? Miren qué hora es. Déjenme ver si se ve, no me veo. Miren la hora. Uy, la una. Es la una de la mañana. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Okay. Sí, así que a veces sí, desde las ocho y media de la mañana hasta el día siguiente doy clases a veces. Porque le, le doy clases a los, a los gerentes del banco, de otras empresas, en línea, cl clientes privados, también estudio, así que sí. Estoy estudiando psicología. Ajá. Y bueno, Buen billete, se echa, teacher. Buen billete, <risa> no, Y que no ve que el problema de Argentina con la inflación y eso está es de la peor economía de toda Latinoamérica ahora. Así que por eso tengo que trabajar tanto. Ah, <risa> eso, ¿Y para, para qué se fue de aquí? ¿Y para qué se fue tanto? Para <risa> a estudiar, vine a estudiar. Ah, Porque no, no quería estudiar psicología en El Salvador, así que me vine para acá. Pero, pero al rato mismo regreso. Depende cómo se ponga la situación el otro año. Y, y sí. uh -huh. Igual tengo mis días de descanso. No, no se preocupen. No me voy a morir. Yo pensé que se había casado por allá y por eso no volví. Ah, no. Nada que ver. Nada que ver. Eh, ah, al final, cuando terminemos módulo, porque no sé si vamos a seguir en diciembre o no. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Están inscribiéndose todos para el otro módulo. Sí. Ah, ojalá los vea. Pero igual, eh, me tocó una vez con un grupo cuatro meses. Creo que ya llevamos cinco meses juntos. Pero con uno solo me tocó un mes. Por si no los vuelvo a ver, al final del módulo pregúnteme porque quisiera que vieran un video eh, de música. O sea, hago música también. Les quiero enseñar. Oh. <risa> Les enseño después, ¿ok? Bueno, eso es tema aparte, sorry. No puse a hablar de la vida. Ok, nos vemos mañana, ok. See you tomorrow. Ok, bye. 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 Take care. Bye. ¿Qué preguntones?